Greg? There was a time in the second half when you had Kelly, Brown, and Morris all on the floor together. I know you've been working to develop those three all season long. Was that by design, and how do you feel they've progressed? Is that a Can you see that as a future front line for you guys? Um, no, it wasn't by design. I, I just, I, I obviously uh, put those guys in, and I looked up and I saw the same thing. You know, probably too many freshmen, but uh, they played pretty well in that segment together. Uh, didn't hurt us. Um, yeah, I think they're all progressing at different rates. Uh, um, but I thought Brown was pretty good tonight. Uh, Shaq was very good in the first half. I didn't think he had a very good second half. Played with a lot of energy, and, and Richard, you know, ha has had his moments. So, you know, I like that group. I like I like those young players, and uh, they've just got to keep getting better. Coach, I want to say uh, congratulations on the win, and also just want to ask, what were your adjust what were your adjustments in the second half to uh, contain Anthony Bean? Well, I, I thought we did a pretty good job, except for the first minute or two. I mean, he had three of his field goals in probably the first four minutes. And they were contested jump shots. He's a talented player. He can score when contested uh, very well. And um, we really didn't change anything uh, at halftime. I, I think we, um, the latter part of the first half, we were much better. And he, he stopped making those shots that he was making earlier. But Cotton just continued to guard him. Right you, uh, in your opening statement, you said something about the uh, game plan for Barry Henson. What were some of the things that Saluki did early to uh, take that early four-point lead? Well, I think they went to Bean uh, and got their best player involved, and he was making some incredible shots. And then uh, they were um, trying to work some clock and, and uh, make sure they got, a, got the ball back to Bean at the end of the clock so he could use a ball screen. Um, they were changing defenses and uh, just sh looking to, you know, make sure that we didn't have the, the ball for too long. They were shortening the game, if you will, uh, I thought, early. And I think he does a great job. Coach, uh, what, what impressed you the most on this win? Um, I would say what impressed me the most was our defense. Um, you know, we, we allowed 16 field goals, 34%, 27% from three. We forced 18 turnovers to five assists. Um, so, I, you know, you hold teams to 45, you have a pretty good chance of winning. Greg, did you go to press mostly just to get some energy, get something going? Um, well, you know, we normally press after made free throws, and we we have a, uh, a variety of presses that we can go to. And we were pressing early in the game, more of a, just a man token press. But then um, I thought we needed some energy, and I thought you know, they had been suspect in terms of the way they uh, handled the ball against full court pressure. So that was the decision. And it worked well. We went from like down four or down maybe even more than that to up five or six pretty quickly. Uh, Fred mentioned Kale's ball handling, how maybe that was helpful tonight, how it's improved. What's your view on how that's come along for him? Yeah, Fred does, uh, you know, he sees it as well. I mean, to Kale, uh, when, he, when he decides to go north and south, he's, he's very effective. Um, he drove it in there a couple times tonight and scored around the rim. It just puts more pressure on the defense when you have a third handler out there that can do that. Question to the left, all the way in the back. Hey, Greg, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm just curious about uh, tomorrow and kind of what your guys' routine will be tonight and everything, uh, preparing obviously for short rest. You guys haven't played a tournament like this since December. Yeah, we're going to uh, watch the first half here. The assistant coaches will stay. I've been assured that the Weston will have the game 
uh, on television, which they did not have last night. Uh, we had the Blues, so um, you know I'm, I'm from South Carolina. I'm not much of a hockey fan, but uh, you know we we watched uh, the first half at Mike Shannon's last night, and then the second half we thought we'd be able to watch in our hotel room, and we got hockey instead. So we'll go back and watch the second half. Uh, assistant coaches will stay and then we will eat. I'm sure they'll eat probably twice, I'm sure. It's still early, so it's 2.30. I'm sure they'll eat now and when we get back and then they'll eat again tonight. We'll watch some video of whoever wins this game and tuck them into bed. Right down here, Karen, second row. Yeah, Greg, uh, what kind of unique challenges do each of these teams that are getting ready to play present, no matter who you play? Um, I think Evansville is um, their motion offense and DJ Valentine. And I've said many times what a great job Marty does running that offense. And you got to you know, defend screens for 40 minutes. You're going to get hit hundreds of hundreds of times, and then um, for, and they're very tough. And then the the, the uh, Illinois State team. Just their their size and athleticism. Uh, they're big and athletic and um, pound the glass. So, and we weren't great at that tonight. Anything else for the head coach? All right. Thank you very much.